According to Glassdoor, Azure cloud security engineers can make over $200,000 per year, demonstrating the skills needed to implement security controls, maintaining an organization's information security posture, and identifying and remediating security vulnerabilities are key parts of this job role. As the Azure security engineer, you implement, manage, and monitor security for resources in Azure, multi-cloud, and hybrid environments as part of an end-to-end -end infrastructure. You will implement and manage security components and configurations by using Microsoft Defender for Cloud and other cloud security tools. You ensure the infrastructure aligns with standards and best practices such as the Microsoft Cloud Security Benchmark. Your responsibilities as an Azure Cloud Security Engineer will include managing the security posture, implementing threat protection, identifying and remediating vulnerabilities, installing and configuring regulatory compliance controls for Azure infrastructure, identity and access management, network, compute, storage, data, applications, asset management, backup and recovery, and DevOps security. As an Azure Cloud Security Engineer, you coordinate with architects, administrators, and developers, plan and implement solutions that meet security and compliance requirements, and you may also collaborate with security operations to respond to security incidents in Azure. Practice exams provide you with an overview of the style, wording, and level of difficulty for the actual questions that you will see on the exam. Through these assessments, you're able to determine how prepared you are to take the test. If you feel knowledge gaps bringing you closer to being able to pass the real test, you're getting closer to that six-figure payday. Exam demo gives you a good look and feel for the exam and gets you ready to interact with different types of questions and the same type of testing interface so you're comfortable on the actual exam day. The AZ500 exam prep videos provide tips and tricks and any help that you can possibly need to get ready to pass a test in real life. The AZ500 managed identity and access training will show you how to implement identity and access management IAM in Microsoft Intra ID. This includes securing users, groups, and external identities, implementing authentication and authorization controls, and managing application access and security. This module focuses on effectively managing identities and enhancing security with Microsoft Intra ID. Ensuring that users, groups, and external identities are protected against security threats and unauthorized access. You will learn what exactly is Microsoft Intra ID, how to secure Microsoft Intra users, creating a new user in Microsoft Intra ID, securing Microsoft Intra groups, recommend when to use external identities, secure external identities, and how to implement Microsoft Intra Identity Protection. The Azure Secure Network Training will show you how to secure Azure networks, encompassing virtual networks, encryption, firewall setup, private access, and DDoS protection. The module is designed for administrators with knowledge and skills needed to plan and implement security controls for Azure virtual networks, ensuring confidentiality, integrity, and availability of business information. How to plan and implement user-defined routes, virtual network peering, or gateway planning and implementation. How to plan and implement virtual wide area network, including secure virtual hub, secure VPN connectivity, including point to site and site to site. Azure Express Route, implementing encryption over Express Route, configuring firewall settings, 
on past resources and monitoring network security by using Network Watcher, including network security groups. I started off my career working in a SOC and seeing servers in a bunch of racks and getting my hands in there and getting involved in racking and stacking and running cables and just times have changed with all of the technology and benefits of having cloud computing. Uh, those skills are, are no longer as valuable as they used to be 20 years ago. So now you need to be able to master and manage the Azure cloud environment and reap those rewards for business and show them how their resources can be protected in the cloud environment when you don't have eyes on the actual physical machines on site. The AZ500 Azure Secure Compute Storage and Databases Training details securing Azure Compute resources, storage, and databases, including advanced security measures, encryption, access control, and database protection. The module is designed to provide administrators with knowledge and skills needed to plan and implement advanced security measures for Azure Compute Resources, safeguarding applications and data against evolving security threats. To plan and implement remote access to public endpoints, Azure Bastion and just-in-time virtual machine access. Do you know what the Azure Kubernetes service is? Configure network isolation for Azure Kubernetes service. Secure and monitor Azure Kubernetes service. Configuring authentication for Azure Kubernetes service. Security for Azure Container Instances. How to configure security for Azure Container Apps. Managing access to Azure Container Registry. Configuration of disk encryption, Azure disk encryption, encryption as host, and confidential disk encryption. Recommending security configurations for Azure API management. Wow, that's a whole lot of encryption going on. But everyone must understand, if you cannot read or dissect the information that you are unauthorized to access, you can't do anything with that information. Encryption is a great thing, and many business owners and cybersecurity leaders need to understand that Encryption needs to happen at rest. So your data that's stored in a server, especially in a cloud database, needs to be encrypted. So if someone has an unauthorized user account access to your network resources, that data is still safe in place. And then, of course, if you're doing business, you're not doing it in a silo. You're not all alone exchanging knowledge, information, and resources just on site for your company. So cloud really makes that stand out. And you can see that this data must be protected in the cloud. So that whole mindset has to shift and you got to have Azure certified security engineers in place to take care of your resources. All of that hard work and research development getting that information out to your customers and to your partners also needs to be protected. So encryption and transit is essential. Most people are used to using HTTPS and secure communications over the internet. Hey.